Hello, so here we have a 2012 Discovery 4, or the LR4 as they call it in America. And we've had the dreaded um, red light come on saying performance reduced. Um, so before I take it to the dealership and uh, they charge me a fortune, I'm just going to clean the mass air sensors just to see if that's the problem. It's, it's intermittent problem so it looks like it could well be. On the Discovery 4 we have two mass air sensors, uh, one here and one here. Um, presumably as we've got two turbos that's why we need two of them and it's going to be a very simple job of just taking two bolts off, one here one on the other side and the same for this one and also the two Jubilee clips and to do that we need um, 8 mil socket set, uh, just screwdriver and also um, airflow sensor cleaner so it's really important not to use just brake cleaner or carb cleaner um, or any other solvent, you have to use the, the proper airflow sensor cleaner. Um, it's devoid of either alcohol or solvents or something, but whatever you do, just make sure you use airflow sensor, which you can get at any motor factors or off eBay or Amazon. Okay, so let's get removing it and we'll see what state they're in. Let's take the bottom one off first. Just take the clip off by pushing that down and pull it back. Push that further. Take the clip off just by pulling this up and pushing this back. And undo the screw. This doesn't need to come all the way off, just loosen it. And then with a little wiggle, let's get this off first. There we have it. And I don't know if you can see the inside. There's the sensor inside. So let's have a look. So this is pretty mucky. Hopefully you can, can see that. Um, that the sensor is just full of full of carbon and road muck, even though it should be filtered out, but there we go. So next we're going to spray it with our sensor cleaner. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it's showing up on the camera, but it's already sparkling. So, give this some time to dry fully and then refit it back to the car. And in the meantime, we'll pull the other one out. Now that we've got the second one out, this one is really clean. I'm surprised how clean it is. Um, not a drop of dust or anything on it. Way different to the first one, which is still drying. So we'll give it a blast anyway and refit it once it's dry. Okay, a cup of tea later and the two sensors are nice and dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fit them in the reverse order. What I'm going to do is there's a little uh, rubber seal on the inside of here, so I'm just going to give it a little tiny bit of lubrication around it just to help it in, otherwise it's a bit of a bit of a squeeze to get it back in. There we go. So without that little bit of oil, it's a bit of a struggle to get it back in. And off we go.
And the job is done. Now fire up, make sure we don't get any error message messages, and job's a good one.